What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna talk about two kind of topics here. One, we're gonna find out if this new layout that I'm testing is worth me committing to having this layout as my new go-to asymmetrical layout. And two, we're gonna figure out if this 900 Global Reality is still the asymmetrical solid, okay? So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you like this jersey or any of the jerseys in any of my videos, coolwick.com, use my promo code NOPOLIS10. Uh, that'll get you 10% off your entire order. And then down below in the description, there's gonna be a link where you can order uh, this reality or anything bowling related. It is the absolute best way to help support the channel. All right, so way back when, when the reality first came out, I said that it was probably my favorite asymmetrical solid, uh, maybe ever, definitely top five of ASIM solids, and I haven't thrown one in a long time because I made the switch from turbo to vice and I never plugged my old reality. So it's just sitting there with a thumb that I don't, that I, that I don't have a thumb for. So I went ahead, I, I drilled a new one and I drilled it with a new layout. I, I tried it on the Dream On. I really liked it on the Dream On. Now we're gonna see if I like it on the reality. And if I like it on this one, then I'll make it two straight balls that I like it on. And then we will for sure continue with this layout in the future. And so the layout numbers, uh, I wrote them here. Nothing special, just it's 45 by four and three eighths by 65. So for me, that puts the pin just below my ring finger, the CG off to the side here, and then the mass bias kind of uh, away from the thumb here. So let's get into some of the tech behind this reality. It features the disturbance asymmetrical core, which in 15 pounds has an RG of 2.49 a max differential of 0.052 and a PSA of 0.018. So it's a very strong core. And then wrapped around that core is the S84 solid cover stock that comes out of box at a 2000 grit finish. So this is a lot of ball, a lot of surface, especially here at Samsung where there's a ton of friction. So let me know down below in the comments what your favorite asymmetrical solid is uh, that's still currently available, nothing discontinued. I wanna know how this stacks up to some of the other ASIM solids in your arsenal. So we're gonna be here, like I said, on lane two, Samstown, fresh, typical hot shot. All right, because this is a lot of surface, I'm gonna start pretty far left, or further left than what I normally start here, just to see, see how it responds to this. Oh, wow. Okay, that's, I mean, that was a pretty good start, but the ball super bailed down lane. So we're gonna move like, to right, but move our eyes actually left a little and get this going up the lane, keep it in the oil. See how that looks. Yeah, I gotta keep it in the oil longer. All right, let's not get it right like that. Definitely wanna get it more up the lane. Let's see how it holds up here. Like there, oh boy, we're in trouble today. Yeah, this is just way, way, way too strong. I'm gonna move left and kind of slow roll it and see how it looks. And if it doesn't look good, I'm gonna run to the pro shop and hit this with like a 4,000 pad just to get it to not be as early. See how that looks. Yeah, we, that's too early. All right, for you guys, it was just a second, but I went to the pro shop, changed it from 2000 to this 4000 finish. And I'm gonna go right back to that same spot. I'm expecting a motion that's cleaner through the fronts, a little bit more pop down. Yeah, night and day, night and day. All right, yeah, so that 4000 finish made a world of difference. This one, let's try to get this one right a little bit and see if it'll recover. Night. All right, let's actually get this one right. Trust it. All right, let's actually get this one right. Nightmares from it not hooking with the out of box finish. All right, this will be a better shot here. Oh, that's seven pin. That seven pin was nasty. Let's um not get it as far right here. 
kind of like a little bit more up the lane. Kind of like there. Yeah, this is just so much better with the 4000. And we'll talk about it at the desk. Oh, first 10 pins since I changed. I kind of came around that one a little bit. Let's try to be a little bit more forward on this shot. And I think that if I do that, it'll kick out the 10 pin. Like there. Bang, bang. Yeah, that was, that was a really, really good shot. So last shot here of the group, let's try to stay as forward as possible. There we go, let's talk about it. All right, so I did something in this video that I have never done, I don't think, on this channel. I threw those first four shots with that out of box 2000 finish and it was just way, way too strong for this house shot. And one of the things I always talk about in this video is the right tool for the right job. Alongside of that is also with the right surface. Because that reality with that 2000 finish it was absolutely the wrong ball. No way around that. When I hit it with that 4000 pad, all of a sudden it came to life. Looks really good. A little bit cleaner through the front. Way more motion down lane. And ultimately, now I think it's a really good option for what I'm bowling on. Now, if I was bowling on something with a lot more volume, heavier pattern, et cetera, et cetera, then that 2000 out of box finish would probably be really, really good. So this just goes back to one of those things I always talk about on this channel. Just because you don't match up with a ball out of box doesn't mean that it's a dud, doesn't mean that it's crap, doesn't mean that it's this, that, or the other. Change the surface on it, and all of a sudden you might go from not matching up, being unsure, to now you love the ball. All right, we're gonna move just two left here to start. Again, really want to stay with that forward release. That was super forward, see it? Yeah, when I come around it, it's making it go a little bit longer through the fronts, not shaping down lane. When I get behind it, it gets it into a roll a little sooner. Yeah, that was a much, much better like release with this ball. A little bit more forward seems to be it. And then I come around that one. Oh, but we got lucky, we'll take it. Yeah, if I'm not like super focused on my release, I always come around it. So really just wanna focus on staying as, as much behind it as I can. See it? Oh! See, you don't need the rev rate to send messengers. Let's, let's repeat some good shots here. Oh, hook. It's hilarious how night and day this ball was from that 2000 to this 4000 here. Oh, push. Yeah. All right. Hold in, a little bit of bounce right. This is a good thing here. Not my best throw. Here at Samstown during open play, if my first step is too long, I'm just, I'm gonna foul every single time. So let's make sure that first step stays small, stay under the ball as much as possible. Like there. Oh, six do the job. Let's try to hit it a little harder. Hit it harder, yeah. A little bit at the bottom. Shout out Jason Eubanks. Oh, hey, I guess that's how you know you're matched up with the right ball, right part of the lane when garbage like that strikes. All right, I promise this will be better here, guys. Oh, much better. All right, so the question was, is the reality still the GOAT 
of the, of the asymmetrical solids? The answer is C. Oh, through that terrible. It's going to strike. All right, let's be better here, guys. Let's be better. I'll take that all day. Let's go. All right, last shot here of this first group, or the second group, rather. And then we'll come back and get a little bit further left again. Yeah, so like I said, the question was, is the reality still the GOAT asymmetrical solid in the current line? The answer is yes. And it's sneakily been around here for a little while. I'll leave on screen when the release date was because I don't have my phone on me. But it's sneakily been around here for a while and I still see a ton of people throwing them, especially on these heavier volume patterns. But changing that surface from 4,000 to, or from, sorry, from 2,000 to 4,000 with this new layout that I'm trying out, I really like what I'm seeing. It's like getting through the fronts just like I want, and it's still producing enough shape. It's not angular by any stretch, but it's producing enough shape that if I miss it into the friction, it's not just gonna lock up like it was doing with that 2000 finish. All right, so we're gonna move left again. This is gonna be like three or four left. Just trying to produce a little bit more shape and still with that more forward release here. Oh, that's a good shot, wow. Wow, that's a good shot off my hand. All right, so let's go back to that same spot, but move our eyes right a little bit. I thought that was a really good shot off my hand. It just hooked a bunch. See it? All right, let's go in between those two. All right, so again, same spot with our feet as the last two shots, but really want to try to get it in between those two and see if it goes through the pins the right way. That's pretty good there. Ooh. <laughs> that shot was definitely more rounded than I wanted it to be. I still want to be in that more forward motion. Just work in progress, guys, here. But I think I'm taking the right strides for sure. Oh, take that. That's going to strike. That's going to strike. Yeah, that last shot there was just good. Like timing, tempo, release. More shots like that and I'll be very, very happy. Like that, see it? Oh, seven pin, man. Dude, that's so many seven pins. Man, that's seven pin. The fact that we're this far left with the ball this strong, impressive. No seven pin, guys. All right, we're going we're gonna to creep left again. Let's see if I can get this to see the corner when I get it right. Ah, see it. It was seen. All right, come on. Repeat, repeat, repeat. I know I'm annoying you guys saying that. Yeah, something between yesterday and today just really clicked. I'm loving this. All right, that was some of my better shots here. Hey guys, from that second group of shots, on for today has been honestly some of the best bowling that I've done. I don't want to say ever, but it definitely feels like it physically. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so I have a nice little run going. If this strikes, I'll keep going. If not, this will be the last shot. Either way, I'm thoroughly impressed. All right, let's keep going, let's keep going. Let's just keep going. Make it a couple of really good shots here. 
Oh, that's terrible. That's going to be it. Oh, I got lucky. I was lucky. This is actually the 10th frame of the last amount of games I have. So three more shots at the maximum here. Oh, I missed in. Push! Nice little string here. Let's get this one right, especially off that last shot. That's gonna be it. All right, we're done. That was a terrible shot. Yeah, guys, something clicked, um, and I'm gonna share it with you guys here. The biggest thing that I'm like trying to keep in my head is keep my shoulders a little bit more square instead of like super hunching that right shoulder and keeping my arm, my wrist kind of cocked under the ball to start and then really slow my feet down. And when I do that, it allows my swing to be a little bit lower, almost a little bit freer. And the results have paid super dividends between yesterday in league plus today, my two filming sessions were pretty unbelievable. So again, the question was, is the reality still the GOAT asymmetrical solid? The answer is yes. I like it more than the Supernova. Um, I like it way more than the Gem. And those are the three ASIM solids that we have currently. It'll be interesting to see as we go forward, as we progress, the, whatever the next inevitable ASIM solid is, how it's gonna compare to this reality. But guys, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I thoroughly appreciate it. I always tell you guys, thank you for the love and support. Without you, I'm nothing. This channel is nothing without you guys. Click right here to watch another one of my videos. Click right here to subscribe. Till next time.